welcome back to the Nebula Club. So for today's video, I'm going to talk to you about Sun in Aries. Okay. So people who have their Sun in Aries have this type of vitality that makes you feel good when you're under their wing. It makes you feel protected. It makes you feel as if you can conquer anything, no pun intended, with them around. They're usually the kind of people who are down to do whatever, down to do whatever they feel like doing, right? But really, if they're amicable with you, if they consider you a part of their circle, a part of their group, a part of their people, they're generally the kind of people who are pretty much ride or dies. You know, they will be there for you. But here's the kicker. Aries is the self, the you without the clothes, without, you know, the hat, without anything, with, with just you. Who are you? The raw sense of who you are. So people with, the, people with Sun and Aries, they make sure that their sense of self is taken care of. Now, this is where it can get a bit complex. So if you have an Aries person that doesn't make sure they themselves are, you know, taken care of, they're secured, that they're they're good, they may try to get that by using other people as opposed to making sure that they're good before they interact and connect with other people. Because the nature of the Aryan energy, whether you have an Aries Venus or Mars or whatever, you are very geared towards yourself. Is this going to help me? Is this good for me? Is this, is this what I need in my diet? Is this what I need in my routine? Is this what I need in my life? You know, um, this, this is the type of underlying concept that you have. Uh, Aries energy is very go. They, if they think about it, they think about it up until it's time to put in action and then the action takes place. That's why if you ever want to see them get angry, just try to hold them back. Just try to get them running in circles where nothing really gets initiated, nothing really gets started, nothing really gets going. That's just going to piss them off so much. They're probably going to leave you and the situation entirely. Because the Aryan energy is, when you get into esoteric astrology, Aries represents the first hierarchy. There are 12 hierarchies which represents concepts. If you want me to go into the esoteric nature of it, I mean, I could, but for the sake of simplicity, it's the essence of the thing that sparks life. You know, think of energy that creates something. That's very powerful because you're literally pulling from the 12th house to the first house, from Pisces to Aries. You're pulling from the ether to matter. But it's the matter before it hits the Taurian essence of antimatter. Because Taurus is what holds everything together. It's, it's why, you know, Taurian people are very strong physically. They have that physical strength, whether it's in a mindset or it's in a physicality. But Aries is that essence, that spark of life, that drive to initiate something at all costs to get through that thing that whenever you create something from like ether to matter you really have to push through all the boundaries you have to push through every single boundary when you think about it which is why it's very fitting that aries is called you know the god or goddess of war because when you're the god of war you can't lose a battle you already won the war you're the god of war you know what i mean so and that same concept, when you apply it in the human construct, every sun people are people who have the essence to carry their own greatness. That's why no matter what happens in their life, they will ride or die for themselves. Whereas, for example, right? Whereas people, or let me use Pisces, for example, right? I'm going to contextualize it to the extreme, but Pisces people if not careful, they can forego the sense of self for the other. Aries is not like that at all, unless you have, you know, aspects and all that stuff. And I'm talking about the pure Aries energy. Aries people are not like that at all. 
they make sure they're good and if they give to you and they lack for themselves it's because they really love you they really care about you and you know you are just that thing that's important you're like that extension of themselves you you are very very important and they value you in their life they care about you and they make sure that you're good but you best believe that if you keep doing that to them where they keep giving to you and they're not they're left without they're already planning their exit they already left they've left the building god knows where they are right they're on to the next thing the thing with aries is to you have to respect the self if you have an aries sun in your life or if you know people who are aries sun respect the essence of who they are not just what they appear to be but really who they are at a soul conscious level the action that they put out their name is like wow you are amazing you know but it's not just you it's specifically that you your name whatever you are my name is merlin right so it's like well it's really merlin so it's like okay merlin like you are you it, it's like that concept of really honoring one's individuality but in the sense of self because individuality can also touch on aquarius but that's whenever we get to sun in aquarius so you know people who have their sun in aries they're very 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 strong people not just intellectually but in spirit their spirit their soul naturally gets through things even if it nearly destroys them in the process there's that access of rebirth too where it's like you have to be able to you know evolve and reinvent yourself from the past and this is something that aries people really understand because they know how to keep it moving the thing with aries energy though is to keep in mind that if you have an aries sun the speed at which you move think and act really only aries people do that that way you know it's just it's just too powerful i mean how else can i explain it it's really really powerful aries people when they go they go when they want to fight you they fight you if they want to see blood they will come for your blood like these people are no joke they are so raw that it behooves you to just take what they say what they do what they think seriously because they will take it there if they have to they will go there they are the sign where it's like they don't just think about it they are about it they be about it because Aries is the I am it's it's that whole I am what I am you know um, these are the kind of people where if you even threaten and not criticize because criticism is something else but if you threaten who they are their sense of self they will remove you from their life because they can see that you don't really see who they are let alone respect who they are but really it's just the ability to see who they are as people and allow that to help formulate that bond that connects you to them it's like they they're like they're human fuel it's so weird but aries people are literally human fuel they 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 just keep going they keep going unless they're sleeping they're always going they're always doing something even when they're meditating you can tell like it's not just them meditating they're really in the act of meditation it's just they're just very action physical oriented people they put the life in their life no pun intended but yeah um you know the thing with this placement too is people who aren't comfortable or solid within themselves can find that airy sun people are just way too abrasive or way too rash or brash not rash brash or way too um it's just you have to be comfortable with yourself to allow somebody else to just be and people who aren't comfortable with themselves don't really stay long around in aries because the aries will kind of just burn through the fake reality you're projecting and it's like okay who are you really because the thing with aries they see you for who you are they they see you because fire burns through reality so when they see you they really see you they're really looking at you they're really taking in the essence of who you are so this concludes the video
and if you'd like a full natal chart analysis or even if you just have a question and you'd like a question reading check out nebulaclub.net and the link is down below and thank you so much and take care